Okay, here we are. I am uh, thought I would bring you a sales video <clears throat> just because um, it's been an interesting week. I've tried a few new things and I want to share what those were. And I've talked about some of them before. And um, so I thought I would just give you um, the rundown on what sold this week. And it was a much better week than it had been. Um, waiting for a couple of people to get in the chat. Looks like Beverly Lambert is in the chat and Chrissy Flannery is also there. So make sure if you're in the, if you're watching live that you say hello. Um, Diane Dodds is here as well. Good evening, everybody. And thank you for being here. You know how I just spontaneously decide to have a live show and just throw, um, you know, the notice up there. So I appreciate you taking time out of your evening. Um, the uh, Thanksgiving holiday is finished and we're moving into the end of the year holidays and uh, the New Year's holidays. So that's pretty exciting. Um, Gail Follett is here and uh, Tammy Talks is also here. So hello to you. I'm going to go ahead and jump into my sales video because um, there are a lot of items to go through. And this time I actually um, wrote down somewhere, if I can find my notes, there they are, um, actually what I paid and what I, um, what the items sold for. So let me jump into that. Um, Linda's Rocky Mountain Finds um, is in the house. And Amelia Sales is here. Let's see who else is here. Mary's Got It Covered is also here. So lots of new names. I like that. Thank you all for joining. All right, let's just go ahead. Uh, Shelly Belia is here. And let me go ahead and just get that screen share started. It does not seem to want to do it, and I'm not sure why. Let's see what I can do here. You guys know I'm not the most technically advanced person in the world, but all right, okay, looks like we got it to work. All right, so um, this is a three set of CDs. There's three discs in here and I bought this new at Goodwill for $2.99 and um, it was still sealed and I sold this for $18.39 with free shipping. Um, I do want to say that I ran a couple of sales this week and each of them was a, between like 25 and 48 hours long. So on like the 25th and um, the 21st and 22nd, I ran a 25% off sale. And then my husband and I were going to go out of town um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I wanted to go ahead and set a couple of additional sales that would just start on their own. Um, so what I did was went into my bulk editor and I added um, best offer to everything. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to throw open the gates here and see what happens. So I added best offer to everything. I increased my price on every item by 15%. And then I ran a 25% off sale for um, the 21st and 22nd. I jumped that up to a 30% off sale on the 24th and 25th. And then I went on up to a 33% on percent off sale that ended today um, and that was for the 26th and 27th so um, as a result I got tons of offers tons of offers on items I'm so surprised by that um, I just don't remember having that many offers um, and I did actually decide when I did this that if it was anywhere reasonable that I would accept it because I want to get out of this mentality that well it's worth this certain amount and I gotta have this certain amount especially when I paid next to nothing for the item I 
I, this week I just did not want to refuse money coming in. So I did decline a couple of offers. I did counter a few offers that were de declined, but for the most part, I accepted offers. So um, this actually just sold. Um, I think this may have sold as regular price. I don't even think this sold on sale, but it sold for $18.39 with free shipping. And I had this forever could not give it away. It's a vintage, um, it's called a proud family doll set. And, um, this, um, doll's belly grows and there's supposed to be a baby inside. This one did not have the baby. Um, but I just could not give this thing away. I know I've had it for well over a year. Um, I had $2 in it and I got someone that sent me a best offer. It was on sale for four dollars and sixty two cents um and somebody sent me a best offer of four dollars plus shipping and i took it just to get this out of my inventory um so i can free up that space for something else um and and i mean like the physical space that these dolls were taking up which was not that much but also the slot also the the actual listing slot so um <clears throat> i was glad to see these guys go uh the next thing was a parish nation um feral cardigan and i think i had this last winter definitely i bought it at the beginning of the year i'm i'm pretty sure i probably had this for about a year i paid 4.99 for it and it sold at 33 percent off for 35 dollars and 44 cents plus shipping and my husband who never helps me um, ship. He, you know, he's just not into eBay at this point in his life. Took the time to help me ship. So he got the joy of kind of squishing this and putting it into a padded flat rate envelope today. And it was all we could do to get it in there, but it did fit. Um, and this was a really pretty sweater. Uh, so I hope that whoever gets it really enjoys it, but that was a really nice sale. Not all of the sales that I had this week are this nice. Um, so uh, this is a lot of Naruto, Naruto cards. Naruto is anime for those of you that, that don't know. And I'm not a huge anime fan, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm subjected to it, uh, sometimes. So, and it's okay, but I've got about 50 cents in these cards. Um, I, I had, I bought this huge lot of cards. These were kind of extras in there. And, um, I got an offer for $6 and 50 cents, um, with free shipping. And I'm like, I don't care. I just want to get rid of these. So I, I let them go. Um, there were actually two of these two bowls, two spoons. And I, <clears throat> and I bought this in a huge lot of, um, chili pepper themed stuff. This is all by the company clay art. There was like a serving bowl that I still have, a pitcher, um, a napkin holder, some salt and pepper shakers, just a huge lot of stuff. And I've sold quite a bit of it. Um, and I bought everything for $11. So I think I have about a dollar in these two bowls. I got an offer of, of $8 and 17 cents. I've had these for a while. I let them go plus shipping. So that wasn't so bad. I just let them go. Um, this is a lot of Barbie accessories and a case. And um, this was a, something I got in a huge lot, like a big tub of Barbie's um, accessories, cases, just a great deal of stuff. I think I've got about $3 in this lot. And it sold for $13.92 plus shipping. This is a GE Spacemaker CD player that has the remote. It worked beautifully. It was not really terribly yellowed. It was in really good condition. And this is one of the newer models because it is the CD player and not the tape player. Um, I paid $3.99 for this. I took a best offer of $40 plus shipping. And um, this was a little bit bulky, but still very, very easy to ship. And um, that is out. I'm so happy because I've had this for quite a while too. So this is a lot of uh, Fisher Price Geo Tracks. 
um, clock tower that that didn't work anymore. It needs a battery, and it takes a kind of one of those big watch batteries. And um, they're just not worth a ton, so I didn't want to invest in the watch battery for it. But I have about 50 cents in this. I actually uh, bought this in a huge lot of stuff, sold for $13.31 plus shipping. This is a lot of Temptations bakeware. I love the look of this stuff, but I just, I don't know, I, I don't keep it for myself. So it is the casserole dish plus the two glass trivets. And I bought this at a church sale back in the spring. Um, and I paid a ten, $10 for this huge bag of stuff. So maybe I have $1 in this. I doubt I have even that much, but it's sold on 33% uh, off at $27.73. And, um, you know, it's glass and that stinks you know, when you are trying to ship. I, I had the longest day today. Um, there, there was an appointment that my husband had this morning that just drug on forever. Then my daughter needed to, me to take her to the grocery store. And then I got back home um, after stopping at the storage unit at 3.30. We had, I think we ended up with 15 or 16 packages that we had to prep and get to the post office by six o'clock. So had my husband not helped me, um, I would not have made it. Um, but so, you know, we had a couple of things that were fragile that we really had to take some time with. And this was one of them. And I'm like, please just let me get this stuff shipped so that I can um, get it to the post office because, you know, this one day handling time that I switched to, um, I, uh, you know, I, I put the pressure to myself to get it there on time and not have late shipping. And that being said, make sure that you're paying attention to your dashboard, um, your seller hub, like summary page. And uh, because I'm not that kind of person, I don't pay a lot of attention, but, but make sure you're looking at your, um, your seller level and what your defects are. I was going through that a couple of days ago and I have found, um, a few shipping late shipping issues that I'm going to call eBay about maybe tomorrow or the next day and see if I can get them to remove. One of them was a local pickup um, and they, they gave me a late shipping ding for that. And it, maybe it's my fault. Maybe I didn't click something or put in information or something. Um, and then another one is the buyer said that it was shipped late or that they received it late. And it was one of those items that was stolen from my porch a month ago. And um, there's no tracking and it was canceled and she was refunded. So I don't understand why she would say that. So I'm going to see if I can get those couple of things removed. So make sure you're paying attention to that just because you don't want to fall into getting defects that you don't deserve. And if I deserve them, I'll take them, but I'm not taking the ones I don't deserve. Um, so this is a lot of little resin hats and hat stands made by a company called Willow Hall. And this was a lot of seven that I, I got a message from a buyer saying, would you be willing to sell me basically this hat and this hat? And I sent her a message back, you know, because that means more work for me because I have to go and take new pictures of this. But um, so that I can relist it if she buys just the two. So I asked her how much she'd be willing to give for them. She um, said $9 each. And I thought $18 and she agreed to pay first class shipping. So I thought $18 plus first, first class shipping. I'll go ahead and do that. So I am going to have to relist these five, but I think I might do them separately and see if I can get them to sell. I've got, I paid $7 and 50 cents for everything. So at this point, um, everything is pure profit and, um, I'm, you know, maybe I can get them to sell. I've had them for quite some time, maybe four to six months. Um, maybe I can get them to move because I really think they're cute. Um, I'm not going to collect them, but I know that there probably are collectors out there. Let's see what next. You guys are really quiet in the chat over there. Um, is that tryptophan from the turkey still got you sleepy? Because I'm telling you, I feel a little kind of run down. 
and um, very low energy right now. Um, these are rubber feet from a Sunbeam stand mixer. And um, my good friend Chrissy that's in the chat told me about parting this part of um, appliances out because I never parted out the feet. And these look pretty grungy. Uh, I did clean them up some, but um, the um, I didn't clean them up too much because I didn't want to damage them. And um, but anyway, these sold for ten dollars and forty six cents with free shipping. And this would been would have been money that I would have passed over in in times past because I just didn't think about pulling the rubber feet off and selling them. And these happen to be all in good condition. None of them were dry rotted. And this is a, that yellowing from the iPhone seven um, because I took that batch of pictures pictures with the iPhone seven and not the old iPhone six. So I'll be glad when I get through all of those items that have that yellowing to them. So some of you guys will remember this um, from a, a video I did a few months ago. I got this at a church sale for $5. I bought discs for it for $15 plus shipping. And um, the discs that I bought were too small or too large. So I ended up reselling those and making my money back on them. And then I bought another set of discs for, I think, I can't remember exactly, but I think somewhere in the neighborhood of $20 or $25. And it came with some extras. It came with a velvet bag and a key and a uh, vinyl sleeve for the discs that I actually sold and showed in the last video. Um, I sold that for $15 uh, shipped, which it was first class. So I think I ended up with about $32 in this um, music box. And I had it priced pretty high, $164.99. Um, but, and it was on sale at $115. I got an offer for $80 plus shipping and I took it because I don't want to keep this for another year and it may not sell out of season. Although Christmas items do sell out of season, I just wanted to get rid of this. So I didn't make a ton of money uh, per se, like my investment was pretty high, but still that's about um, what, $48? gross on this so I'll, I'll do that i can do that but um so to, to ship this because it's got a glass lid and it's got this glass front i did uh, masking tape on both of those i put bubble wrap in here and then shut the lid and masking taped it closed and then did cardboard over the glass here um, and then I uh, bubble wrapped this and put it in a box with packing material all around. So I'm hoping it gets there safely um, because I don't want to have to deal with a return on this. Okay, um, thermal, a uh, Cuisinart thermal carafe. Um, this is also an item that I bought the entire coffee maker and potted out, parted out, potted out. <laughs> I kill me. Um, so I think I have somewhere in the neighborhood of nothing in this one because this one is actually one that Chris gave me. And um, it was listed for $33.05. This is an active listing right now because I did have two of them. Um, but I took a list, uh, took an offer for $15 plus shipping. And um, uh, I was glad to get rid of this. Chris is saying that her Christmas items have been selling like hotcakes. Um, I still have those Christmas bells. Um, I've got another Christmas item in here to show you that sold, but um, I'm really looking to get rid of those Christmas chiming Christmas tree bells or whatever they are. Um, I'm hoping that they will sell in the next week or so. This is a vintage icebreaker called a tap icer. And um, it's probably from the 60s, I'm thinking, maybe from the 50s. I know, yeah, Chris is saying that her bells sold. I think she told me that last week. Um, but um, 
this tap icer I bought for 99 cents at a thrift store and I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping on that. Um, and in case you can't hear it, I think I'm coming down with something, but maybe not. Maybe I won't. Um, this is a little vintage silverware storage box that I just bought maybe a week or so ago. Um, and I paid $3.99 for this. Um, uh, it was on sale 30% off. And again, in the interest of not, of not refusing money, um, they made an offer of $14 and, uh, plus shipping. And I took that in that ship today. And this one was not a huge heavy one. There's no drawer in this one. Um, it was just the lid that flips up. It was a pretty shallow and pretty light. Um, and, um, you know, I was happy to get rid of it that quickly. This I've had for quite some time. Um, this is a Krupp's, uh, coffee bean, um, mill or grinder. And I paid a dollar for this and it sold for $12 and 87 cents plus shipping. Um, I had this for quite a while. This is called Pokemon's Ashes Arena, a challenge. It's complete. It was an open box game, but it had not been used. And um, I sold that for, um, I bought this for $3.99 and sold it for $23.45 plus shipping. Okay. Oh my. Do we really have that many? Let's see. Let's back it out up here. A little bit more. Okay. This is the other Christmas item that I sold this week. Um, this I bought with Chris in um, a thrift store. I don't remember if this was Dayton or Cincinnati. But this is called the Hallmark Fun in the Fridge Snowman. Um, he sings. He talks. You put him in their fridge. When you open the door, he responds to the motion. Maybe to the light. I don't know. But I think to the motion. And... Um, I paid $4.99 for him and I kept getting $30 offers. Like over the last month, I kept getting these $30 offers and I just wanted more for him. And this weekend I got a $30 offer and said, you know what? I am just going to let this go. Let it go. Let it go. We may as well name this guy Olaf because I'm, you know, I'm just not going to get hung up on that, those, that few extra dollars of, a few dollars more or whatever. So um, I let this go for 60 bucks and I hope, or 50, sorry, 30 bucks. And I hope they enjoy it. This is a um, herbal conditioner for thinning hair. And I picked this up for a buck. And actually I had thought about using it because my hair is so fine. Um, and then I'm like, mm, you never do anything consistently. Why don't you just sell it? So I sold it for $9.99 plus shipping. And uh, <laughs> Chris, Chris just said, do you want to sell a snowman? Well, it doesn't have to be a snowman. This is a rival VersaWare crock pot with the removable crock. Of course, it's it has a lid. It holds five quarts. And I actually... Um, bought this for my daughter to use at her Christmas party, which she did, and she gave it back to me and um, um, said, Mom, you want you go ahead and sell this because I, I just wanted it because it looks like a witch's pot for the party. So that's what I did. I paid $4.99 for this little guy. This is definitely a bolo. If you see this pot, it sold for $59.99 in less than a month. And um, was not too bad to ship. I did ship each part. Um, I did take that. I did take this apart and bubble wrap it really good and ship it in three se separate areas in a box. Um, but I I would have not known this was worth so much um, when I just saw it on the shelf. Yeah, Chris is just basically talking to herself in the chat or talking to me in the chat. Um, so I guess everybody's just tired and run down and, uh, needs to be a little 
they need some rest from all this holiday so i i totally get that here's another thing that chris gave me um she gave me a set of hot rollers and i decided to ditch the actual unit and i have the curlers currently listed and um these are the the pins that i listed for 15.99 um, and they ship for free. Of course, they only weighed like two ounces, I think, and they sold pretty quickly. Um, so definitely a bolo. If you've got hot rollers that are just sitting around and not moving, um, maybe it's, maybe you should part it out. Maybe that's an option for you. And yes, Chris is so generous. Um, and <laughs> I appreciated her letting me shop her shed and uh, pick up a few things. So definitely something to look at. I know that the hot rollers that I've had listed for a while um, just don't move. They just aren't moving. But I may look at, I've even got brand new ones. I may look at just selling the rollers and, um, or just selling the, the pins and donating, donating the rest of it. This is uh, by St. Nicholas Square, and it is a lighted TikTok clock, clock shop. Say that three times fast. And uh, um, I did have to buy an extra piece for this because I don't think the light was with it, but I was able to find one. Um, I have about $8 in this, and it sold for $22.49 plus shipping, which is a good thing. So I guess I had another Christmas item that sold. This is a part that I bought, and I think I paid um, maybe $2 for the entire blender jar. And I have, um, I still have the blender jar. I've sold the ring off the bottom and uh, the blades. And this is the lid, and I sold this for $9.74 shipped. And, of course, it did um it did ship free shipping chris is saying everyone can come and shop her shed of shame and uh that should be your mantra shop my shed so this is a nintendo 64 uh cartridge storage box and it holds 24 games i paid three dollars and 99 cents for this and i'm surprised that goodwill priced it so cheaply um it did have a little bit of damage, but I mean, it's pretty old. It's like me. It's pretty old, uh, but it sold for $37 dollars 49 pl uh, plus shipping. This is a Hamilton Beach blender replacement cup. did have a little bit of damage on the other side of the rim. There's a little split. This was free. Also came from Chris in a lot of gadgets that she gave me and i sold this for 8.99 with free shipping so i didn't make very much on it but i did make a couple of bucks the next two items sold to the same buyer and it's this um i don't know exactly i don't remember what i called this let me see the slinger disc and the other one is the slinger bowl um, they gave me, they made best offers on both of them and they ended up paying $20 and 23 cents plus shipping. And I paid a dollar or I have a dollar invested in these two parts. This is surprising to me. This is actually a partially used Febreze Scent Stories disc. And um, I was still able to to sell it for $14.99 with free shipping. I recommend when you do this, and this is something I've started doing recently, when you are um, selling these, if they are partially used, uh, if you look on the back side, well, this is the blank, but you would actually be able to see the pot of scent. Take pictures of each one of those so that the person potentially buying it can see how much is used out of each one that's just a suggestion um i think that that will lead to a better customer satisfaction in my opinion this is um a an our generation um chair 
that will fit American Girl dolls as well. And it's made by Day Dayton Hudson. And um, it was in really good condition uh, as far as the upholstery goes. It did have some dents, some scratches, some nicks in the wood part of this. I did disclose that, but um, I had repaired, I'd colored in all of those. So it was actually looked pretty, pretty good. I paid three or five dollars and ninety nine cents for this chair and so for twenty six dollars and twenty four cents plus shipping um and this is the second one of these i've sh i've sold the other one was a like a green jacquard um print if you find these i recommend that you buy them they are a little bulky to ship but they're not fragile so um really just some padding in a box and it is good to go this is an old lot of Polly Pocket that I have had and I have about three dollars I think in this um, this would not sell I, I don't know if it if there was just I, I don't know I don't know why it wouldn't sell but um, I ended up uh, no, Chris, it won't fit in a 12 by 12 by 12. I think I may have gotten it in a 14 by 14 by 14. It's really wide across the arms. So I don't think it fit in a 12 by 12 by 12. But um, anyway, this Polly Pocket sold for $13.76 plus shipping. And I was happy to get rid of it, honestly. This is a vintage Sears nativity set that I bought at Goodwill a couple of months ago for $1.99. And uh, the, the figures are all um, resin, but are pretty well done. And um, the manger was in pretty good condition. This was complete. Again, it was vintage. And it, I sold it for $37.49. And I hope they like it. I mean, I, I always hope people like um, what I'm doing. You know, what, I, what I'm sending to them. Chris says she tries to cut off, like, her shipping at a 12 by 12 by 12. That's probably um, a good policy. But... Um, when I know something's that profitable and that easy to ship, I'll go a little bigger. Let's see. Um, Linda's Rocky Mountain Fine says, I have found that newer Polly Pocket stuff doesn't do that well. It's the older Polly Pocket compacts and the many people are where the money's at. And that's true. Um, the I've done really well with the old compacts. Um, a lot of times I am buying huge lots of Polly Pocket that is mixed. And so I get the old and the new, and maybe that's why this wouldn't sell. There was just too much new stuff in it. Um, let's see. Reseller Rockefeller is here and wants to know, where do you shop at mostly? Yard sales or Goodwills mainly? Um, well, in the season, because I'm in the Midwest, um, I, I am not so fond of, like, residential yard sales. I fi you find really good stuff there. But again, I am socially awkward and I'm a little bit lazy and I'm just getting in and out of the car and in and out of the car uh, going from one to the next um, is no fun. And, um, I, you know, it's sometimes hard for me to approach people. I know it's a yard sale and you're supposed to, but it's just hard for me. But that anxiety seems to go away when I go to church yard sales. And I love going to church um, sales because they tend to have a huge amount of inventory, especially the bigger churches, um, v various varied inventory. So lots of different stuff because it is a lot of the time donated by the parishioners or the members of the congregation. And they usually price it really, really well. So I do like, um, I do like, to go to church sales in the summer but that season is really only from about april to september um outside of that i do a little bit of online auction local online auction buys but not as much anymore um mostly goodwills and other thrift stores um i 
I like independent and local uh, thrift stores when I can find them. And, um, um, and also the Goodwill bins. I find lots of great stuff at the bins when I go. And based, depending on where you are, the, the Goodwill outlet can be a nightmare or it can be okay. And, um, people, the nor the um like the regular people at the goodwill outlet can be somewhat a little aggressive um but it depends on where you are one of the the outlets the outlet that i go to in cincinnati with chris um is is so laid back it's ridiculous it's really small but they bring out uh new bins every hour at the top of every hour so Typically what we do there is go to the outlet and then we hit a few more thrift stores. And then we go back to the outlet and uh, that seems to work pretty well. The outlet in Dayton, and those are the two that are closest to me, um, is a little more aggressive. It's larger. Um, so I let the, the piranha kind of feed on the new bins when they come out. And then I go back through them and I usually find pretty decent stuff. So that's mostly where I get my stuff. Um, of course, I'm always uh, asking friends and stuff, hey, you know, you taking anything to the Goodwill? So, and I'll take it for them, um, which I've done that uh, several times. Um, or pick through things that are going to, that are going to the Goodwill and uh, have gotten some good stuff that way. So um, back to this sale so we can get this wrapped up so you're not here all night with me. This is another piece of that Black & Decker uh, Crush Master Blender. And uh, I believe it paid one or two dollars for the entire jar. Can't, I think two dollars. Um, this sold for $9.74 shipped. And of course it shipped at two ounces. And I think this was in the last sales video. Um, but it's a 20 questions. I can read your mind. Uh, handheld game. And uh, it sold for $12.66 with shipping this is by Bialetta or Bialetti and it's Italian and it's a chocolate hot chocolate maker I bought this for I think I paid five bucks for this and um, it sold for $29.99 um, this is a Thai Beanie Baby box protector that was full of um, the little clamshell tag protectors. I paid $2 for this and it sold for $12.93 uh, plus shipping. And I don't feel like maybe some of these, I don't remember if maybe some of these were in the last haul video. So um, just bear with me. This is just a lot of Barbie's extras that I had bought in a big lot um, that sold for $12.70 plus shipping. And it had like some Barbie hangers and this was all mated Barbie shoes. So there weren't any um, like mismatch or any of that in there. This is another part of that coffee maker. Um, that I bought and I think I only gave one of the these coffee makers Chris gave to me one of them I, I think I paid a few dollars for and um, I sold the entire base unit minus like the door the um, the basket and that sort of thing and um, I sold this for twelve dollars and uh, seventy cents plus shipping uh, Desiree Stanley asks, um, do you always do buy it now? Do you ever do auction? Desiree, like 99 of my, 99% of my sales will be buy it now. Um, partially because when I'm a buyer, I hate auctions. I hate eBay auctions. Um, I don't want to wait for the stuff that I'm buying on eBay. Um, I want to buy it and know that it's going to be shipped in a couple of days and, and get it. However, that being said, when I have something that I think I might fish around and get a really good price for, or if it's 
like some stuff that I'm just trying to get rid of. So I'll blow it out at, you know, a 99 cent auction or a dollar 99 auction. Um, I will run auctions that way too. And I was doing it a little more a month or two ago because I was using up all of my listings and then, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And then, um, using up all my buy it now listings. And then I was just trying to use up some of those free auctions that I get with my store. So, excuse me. But, um, but a lot of people do auctions and they're okay. They're okay with them. They work for them. So, um, I think you just got to play around with it and see what works for you. My, my only word of caution is, um, well, a couple of words of caution. One, don't start the auction for less than you're willing to sell, willing to sell the item for. 99 cent auctions used to work really well and you would, um, the price can be driven up considerably. Not so much anymore. Your item could sell for 99 cents and that can be pretty costly if you've got a lot of time or effort or money invested in the item. The other bit of advice that I would offer is not to bother with reserves because they really don't do any good. If you want to reserve an item, if you want to reserve a price, just start the auction at that price. Buyers don't like to deal with the reserve and it does not serve you any purpose. Uh, gosh, you guys didn't get to hear the cha-ching, but I just sold a talking cash register. All right, Chris is saying, Bolo for hot chocolate makers, especially Cocoa Motions. And she's also saying that she hates uh, auctions as a buyer and a seller, but I like to use up the free ones given to me. Um, the Desiree says, okay, thanks. I'm, I'm new, started with auction and let a few things go really cheap, was disappointed, but it's a learning game. It is a learning game. And I think that you need to kind of uh, try to get as much information as you can, uh, several opinions, and uh, figure out what works for you. And let's see. And I think what's working for me right now is 10-day listings, 10-day uh, buy it now listings, um, running sales, running deeper sales, um, and um, adding that best offer. I think adding best offer for now has um, really made a difference. It does get frustrating. Look, I just got an offer just now. Um, $7 for vintage mid-century what's yours cocktail drink marker case complete. So just got an offer of $7 for that, but it's $7 with free shipping. I'm not sure if I'll do that or not. We'll just have to take a look at it in a minute. Okay. These are SpongeBob SquarePants mini mugs. So they're about the size of a thimble. Um, they are still, still sealed. They're from 2012. And I think I paid $1.99 for these, I believe. They sold at 25% off for $14.99 plus shipping. And... I had these for a while, so I'm happy to get those moving on. And look, there's my offer popping up. <coughs> this is a perpetual wood lighthouse calendar. And um, it sold for, and you know, I always say buy these, and I'm not sure if I sold this to you, sold, showed this to you all right, already or not. So just bear with me. I mean, in the last sale video i just don't remember but i paid a couple bucks for this and it sold it at 25 percent off for 24.99 and it was complete it didn't have all the letter or all the numbers and stuff these are some home co plastic resin seagulls that i bought and i think i paid i want to say i paid 99 cents for these and they sold for 14.99 plus shipping this is a brawn carafe that um, I purchased for 50 cents, and I know that I showed you that already. Um, I think I may have shown you most of these things, so just ap I apologize if they're duplicates. 
This is a Fisher Price I Can Play Piano system uh, that uses these cartridges to teach, I don't know if it teaches a kid how to play music, but it allows them to play music. I did not have a power cord. Um, I paid a couple of bucks for this, I think $3 for this, and it sold for $22.67 plus shipping. This is a definite bolo if you ever see this type of um, barware, mid-century barware. This was signed, um, and it is Gregory Duncan. It's a cocktail pitcher, and it probably holds maybe, I don't want to, I don't know if it holds two quarts or not, um, but it had 22 karat uh, gold, and that was the thistle bases, um, and I paid, I think, $3.99 for this picture, and I bought this at Goodwill. Um, I had it listed really high for a long time. It didn't sell, but it did sell on the 25% off uh, sale. So $62.24 plus shipping. Not a bad return. So if you see something that's this unique, um, I didn't know this was worth anything when I saw it on the shelf, but I thought this is so cool, so different that I need to check it out. And it was certainly worth buying. I sold these Ninja Bread Men as opposed to Gingerbread Men. Uh, cookie cutters. These were also out of Chris's Shed of Shame, and um, I sold these for nine seventy four shipped. Um, Chris wants to know: Is anyone selling ugly sweaters this year? I have not found any worth buying, but I usually pick up a couple every year. It's getting kind of late for me to to do it, but who knows? Um, Again, I might have showed this in the last video. If I do, I apologize. This is a Bushnell spotting scope um, that I gave, I think, $10 or $20 to my brother-in-law for. Um, it was something he never used. He'd wanted it like an office party or something. And I sold this for $67.49 plus shipping. And I did get a message from the buyer today saying, um, I tried this to you know, I tried setting this up today, but one of the lenses inside is loose. Um, but I really like to keep it and then want to get it fixed and blah, blah, blah. And they were fishing for a partial. And what I said was, if you would like, you can return this for a complete refund because I know I can probably resell it, um, even damaged. Um, but and if not, maybe I can't sell the, the actual uh, scope, but I bet I can sell all of the other components like the box, the stand, the tool, the strap, all of that. And uh, um, I don't know what it would cost to be fixed is what I told her. So if you want to open a refund, go ahead. And she told me she wanted to open a refund, but I haven't seen it yet. So... We'll just have to see. Um, Linda is saying over in the chat, um, I have it unless they're just super crazy and or a good brand. The market is just saturated with them. Uh, Linda says even department stores have ugly Christmas sweater sections now. Chris says that's for sure. And thrift stores have them priced way up. And they're available now in department stores. Get out of my head, Linda. Uh, Linda says I thought I'd hang it out there for a few. Well, that's a scary place to be. I just want you to know. Um, uh, make sure that if you're going to list the, the ugly Christmas sweater, especially if it's vintage, that you don't forget that you can list that over at Etsy as well. Um, because I don't know if the market, market is quite as saturated over there uh, as it is on eBay. But that's just, I, I think I've sold one or two like that maybe last year. Um, this is a catchphrase game, and I am pretty sure I already showed you that last time. All right, so that is all I have. Um, but I sold a total of not including shipping. Let me look at my note here. Uh, $1,130.02. And... Um, 
I also, I had one Etsy sale for $18.99, $19.99, and uh, I have not sold anything on Amazon, but I don't have much listed there, just a few things, a handful of things. But um, that is what I've got. I hope you you guys, that your sales are picking up, and um, I hope this has been informative. Um, it seems like this having a sale worked for me this week. You might want to consider it. I suggest shorter sales. Um, if you're going to run sales, you have to run them at least 25, uh, 24 hours. You have to run them at least a day. But uh, I find that running them one to two days works okay. I know I'm getting sick and I'm trying not to. Um, I don't have time for this. Do you have time? <laughs> so um, I'm probably going to head off to bed really soon. But, um, and I don't know what it is that I've gotten sicker sitting here. But, um, you know, try running a couple of sales. Try running some items, especially if you've got leftover listings that you can use maybe in your store that would be free. Try running some at 10, uh, 10 day intervals instead of 30. Um, try off oh, offering best offer. I'm not going to tell you to do free shipping because unless it is a first class item or sometimes I'll do it on a larger item, but I just don't do it. Um, so try some things to, to get your, your store rocking and rolling. Of course, this is the cut, the time of year when people are buying, but I'd like to see the trend continue um, after December is over. I'd like to see the sales sales keep coming. So, um, you know, I'm going to try and continue to do the things that I can do to increase um, the probability that I'm going to sell. Um, I had hit $700 in sales uh, or in listings. Well, let's try that again. I had hit $700 listings uh within about a week ago and i'm down to 640 because i haven't had time to list and things just keep selling so i'm gonna try and get some stuff um listed this week if i have a spare moment um and otherwise that's all i've got for you guys thank you all so much for being here i certainly appreciate it i appreciate the support and um you know, make sure that you like hit that thumbs up button. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. Um, don't forget to hit the little bell beside the subscribe button so that um, you will get um, you will get notifications when I go live or when new content is uploaded. Um, you can join me over at Facebook, if you like, at Socially Awkward Sellers. And you can find me on Instagram at Socially underscore Awkward underscore Sellers underscore. Um, and I will usually post something there about a, once a week or so. So kill your feed. Um, but I look forward to seeing you guys the next time. Just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working. And I'll see you the next time.